today. Okay, so today we're going to do a service on the A100K floppy drive in this. Now this drive works fine on it, but it's very noisy when it ejects. So I do have a gear kit courtesy of Koba. That's where I got the Rominator, which we will talk about that here in just a little bit. But anyway, we're going to put some new gears in it. Now I've never taken one of these 800K floppy drives apart, but I have watched a few YouTube tutorials. So I will try to act like what I'm doing. Not really, but we'll find out. So anyway, that's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna turn this thing apart, but before we do this, I'm gonna show you what it's doing. So we're gonna turn it on here. And it's got the uh, blue SCSI in the back of it. And it's gonna boot up here. And of course the screen's gonna do its weird thing here. As soon as we get booted up here, and we just have a mouse hooked up to it as well. So we're gonna get a, a system disc on here. There we go. Now it's got the old Happy Mac on it there. It found the blue SCSI. And you're saying, well, how does it do that? Well, we have put the magic diode in it that allows termination power. So we can boot right off the SCSI without having to use the floppy drive. So anyway, we'll let this thing get booted up here. And it's just about done here. All right, so we are booted up. So this is what happens when we put the floppy disk in it here. Okay, so it's gonna access it. That part sounds fine. But when we go to eject the floppy, very, very, very noisy, and it feels like it's kind of lagging a little bit. So we're gonna take it apart, we'll lubricate it, and I'd have a little different method of lubricating it, and we'll put the new gears in it, and we will go from there. So next time you see this, we're gonna have the uh, floppy drive laying on the table here. So be back in a bit. Okay, so we have the 800K floppy drive out of the Mac Plus. And to be truthful, this thing looks pretty clean. I mean, even the, uh, the grease that they put on this thing, uh, the action on it is nice and smooth here. Uh, we can uh, flick it for you here. Uh, it looks pretty good, though. Uh, I'm pretty impressed here. It looks pretty good. So anyway, yeah. So, um, you know, let me... Uh, open it up here and you'll see when I uh, release it here and it uh, it's pretty, goes right down there. So I think we really, other than just cleaning the heads, I mean, because everything, the grease isn't dry or anything. Uh, it runs pretty smooth. I might put just a couple little, we'll take the, um, when we take the uh, gear out of it, the gear assembly, motor gear assembly out, we can oil up the shaft a little bit here. But uh, yeah, it looks pretty good though. So that's what I'm gonna do. And just looking at it now, um, I don't know really what this means, but this is what they refer to as a red label. I don't know what that really means, but it is a Sony drive. And like I said, the thing is really, really clean. So that's what we're gonna do. We're going to uh, take this uh, gear drive out and we have our new gears right here from K Koba out of Japan. Uh, he offers these and he even gives you a spare one when you order the Rominator kit, which is really nice when you order these. He actually gives you a spare gears for this thing. So, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this motor assembly off here and I believe all we have to do is take these uh, two screws out here. So that's what we're gonna do. And I think, yeah, we'll just take this off here. Maybe, let's see. There we go. Take that one off. Put that right there. And I believe this is the other one that we have to take off. Take that off there. And then, this. in order to get this off, we've got to take these two springs off 
and this actually should lift right off of there. So let's uh, let's do that here. Let me get something where we can get those little springs off of there. Okay, this is what I was looking for here. I have a little spring hook here. Very handy if you have one of these. So we're gonna take, and you wanna kinda get it underneath the loop here. And we're going to pull down, maybe. And what you don't wanna do, you, you, oh, you know, hold on. Let me uh, drop this down here first. Let's do that. Let's drop this down. There we go. Then I'll make it easier to get that spring off of there. Okay, there we go. And you're just going to get that in there. Like so. And pull, pull it off right here just like that. And we're caught on the other frame here. Let's there we go. All right, so there you go. That's what you want to do. You don't want to take the risk of launching that thing. And so we'll do the other side here. And you definitely want that uh, carriage down so you can get this off of there. And again, we'll take and we'll get this one off too. I'm just going to put my finger up here just in case. We launch it here. Come on, get it. There we go. Got that one off there, like so. And if you bend these hooks a little bit, they're easy to bend back, so don't worry about that. So now what we're going to do, we will pop that off. This little, little head razor thing, it comes off. You just take and kind of pull it off of here. You got to lift this up here, and that will just slide right off. Oh, maybe I gotta flip this thing up here. Let's try to get the head off of it here. This little head razor thing. There we go. That popped right off of there. Okay. Now this will lift off. And again, you don't want to lose your little springs here. So we gotta get this thing lined up here. There we go, just like that. And I mean, this thing looks really good. It's not dirty at all in there. Like I said, there's a little grease in here, and the grease is uh, in good shape. Now, I'm not a lover of grease, uh, for se. Uh, sometimes regular sewing machine oil works better, and that's probably what I'll do up here. So let me just lay that down there. Now, what I'm gonna do now is I can get this little gear assembly out here. There is a little ribbon cable we got to take loose here. You got to be real careful not to damage it here. And let's see, we'll just kind of pry this up here. Just a wee bit there. There we go. Now we should come out of there. Take a look here. Let's grab all these wires here. And Kind of pull it out. There we go. Now we got it. Okay, so let's lay it off to the side there. Now let's take a look at the gear assembly here. So this is, uh, now what he said too, what I've seen is when you take these apart, you want that at the 12 o'clock position there. So that's where we're at now. So anyway, we're going to get this little access plate off here. And at the same time, we're going to there we go. Now we can get to the gears here. And just looking in there, they don't look terrible. Let's see. I guess there are a couple teeth. There actually there are a couple teeth broken on that right there. So let's uh I guess this is the uh he just gives you the one for this little guy here. That's the one that breaks. So let's uh, lift this gear up here. So I guess we'll 
So I'm just going to kind of lift it up here a little bit. I want to be careful with that. I don't want to damage that. We'll just place that right there for the time being. And you can see the little drive motor down there. The sprocket for that right there. That's the motor right there. And that drives And you see the little couple little pieces of teeth are me missing. That's probably why it is so noisy. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull that out. And look at that. You can see it now a little better. You see the little pieces broken off of it there? Yep. So what we're going to do is we're going to um, clean that up in there a little bit there. Let me get a Q-tip here. And I'm going to use a little bit of uh, alcohol in here. Let me just get this stuff off first here. Let me just see here. Because one bad thing about grease is when it dries out, it gets like concrete in it and it breaks things. So, all right. So we're going to, uh, in that little metal gear. That's interesting. Metal gear is fine. There's just a bunch of plastic that was all around that thing from the old gear and the dried lithium grease. So we're going to clean that up there. We'll get a little isopropyl alcohol. So let's uh, clean this up in there. I'm just using a little isopropyl to get in there and get all that junk out of there. I'm just going to kind of clean this stuff up here a little bit too. Okay. And you want to make sure you get all that fuzz out of there too on that little like, cam there i'm going to clean it off of there i'm just going to put a little light oil on that so yeah so let me um get this thing back together here All right, so let's get our little gears here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put a little bit of light oil on it here, just a little bit. And the nice thing about this, this does not get dry or hard. And I'm trying to get it to come out of here. It's not that there's not enough in here. What the heck's going on here? Now we're in good shape. Okay, so let's try it again here. So I'm just going to put a little drop on here. Just a, just a drop. There we go. That's plenty. And a little bit on that shaft there. A little bit on that shaft there. There we go. It's not going to hurt it. All right, so let me get our little, little tiny little gear out of there. Put this gear on here. There we go. And we will put this gear so that goes like that. Yep. Okay, that works. That rotates. No problem there. Okay, and let's clean this off. This has got a bunch of crud on it here. So we'll put this back together here. Okay, so we got this all back together here. All right, so we're gonna set that off to the side there. Now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna kinda clean the grease off some stuff here. Now, 
Um, I'm just looking at this bottom plate here. And you can see all the uh, grease down at the bottom there. And that's one of the reasons why I don't personally like to do a lot of grease on a lot of stuff. Because it just sits there and it gets dry. However, this is not bad. Okay. Um, I'm just going to kind of clean this up in spots. Get this all cleaned up here. It does slide very fast. Like I said, we're going to use some... Uh, just a little bit of oil here. Just trying to get this stuff cleaned up. Now, to get this bottom plate off, you just take these four things off, and you can do that. Well, let's see. You know what? Let's just do it anyway. Let's, let's just take those things off here. Um... Let me get the screwdriver or the pliers here. So basically, these are kind of like a, uh, a vinyl nylon type of thing. And anyway, you're just going to take and just very gingerly pull up on it here. There we go. There's one. There's two. Now there's two. It doesn't matter which way they go on either. There's three. And there is... Four. There we go. Got those all out. And this just simply lifts off here, like so. So we'll go ahead and clean it up here. That was bugging me. What we're going to do, we're going to clean the grease off of this stuff here. And most lithium greases will dry out in time. Where when you put a light coat of oil on it, it's not going to dry out. It can most metals are very porous and actually the oil actually absorbs into the metal. That's like on this here we have some bronze bushings on that thing and you never want to put lithium grease on those because the bronze bushings they soak up the oil and it keeps things lubricated. So yeah. That looks pretty good there. Uh, we will kind of clean this up a little bit here. Right here on this, right here, this plate here. That's where all this stuff kind of builds up there. And you never ever want to mess with that zero out sensor there because uh, it'd be very hard to get it adjusted. If you work on these all the time professionally, then, then you know what you're doing, but I don't work on these uh, at all. This is my first time tearing one of these things apart. Looks pretty easy though. It's not too, too scary. But anyway, yeah, so I just I got all that old rotten lithium grease off of it there. That motor spins quite nicely there. So yeah, so let's uh, take, and we got this plate cleaned here. Let's see here. I shall get a Q-tip here. Clean it up here, Q-tip. And let's see, we'll get all that. I just want to make sure I get all that old lithium grease out of there. And there's probably some of you that say, oh, I, I like to use lithium grease. I don't. I just use a little bit of light oil on a lot of stuff. When I used to work in the printing industry many years ago, the company was called AB Dick. 
don't know if you guys ever heard of that company, but at that time they're around over a hundred years old, the company, but they made all kinds of automated offset printing equipment. And there are lots of mechanics on that. And you just put oil on there. You never put any lithium grease on that stuff. It's very intricate machinery. Doesn't matter how big or small it is. Now certain things, yeah, grease, you have to use it like on big crane turntables and stuff like that. There's grease zerks in it. And of course that's designed to have it. But that's sealed, that's not open to the environment. So that's a different situation. When it's open to the environment, heat, dirt, dust gets in there and will cause you a lot of grief. All right, so I'm going to, let's see here, the head up a little bit here so I can clean that. Now there is a word of caution that there's a, a copper plate in here that serves as a spring. There's also a tensioner underneath of it. There's another spring underneath of it. So you just want to lift this up just enough to where you can get a Q-tip in there. You don't want to uh, overextend that spring because if you do that, then the heads won't close. So we're just going to uh, clean the heads here. We will clean the heads. We're just going to just, just enough to where we can get that in there. Right there. And get that there. Okay. That's clean. Now we'll get a, a dry one here. Just enough to get in there. There we go. All right, that's good. All right, so let's just do a little light lubricating here. Doesn't take much. So we are going to do it at the pressure points here. So we're going to get that framer for you. So we're just going to put a light dab right here, right there. That's probably a little overkill. We will let's wipe that up a little bit there. There we go. All right. Doesn't take much. We'll wipe it off the Q-tip here. Okay, and right there. All right. Get a Q-tip here. We will. Dab some of that up there, just a little bit there, like that. Actually, if you just put the oil on a Q-tip, that will actually probably work better. Just put that there, that's where it's going to slide. And it is very cold out in the garage, so if you see me shaking, uh, I don't normally shake, it's just as very cold out here in the garage. It's about uh, just barely 40 degrees out here because I have to leave the door open for Betty Cat. She goes in and out in the daytime, but at night I close it. Sometimes she comes in the house. And I'm just going to put a little light coat of oil on here. Okay, just a little bit here, not much. Or it basically is going to be rubbing here right there okay it's pretty good there and i think we can just put this back on there like so so that's going to slide nice and free there be just fine and then i'm also going to put just a little just a little bit of oil on that shaft but before i do that let's put these little grommets back on here here, maybe I'll use my pliers here to do that. Let's see. There we go. Put that down there, like so. There we go. There we go. That's down there all the way there. Now we'll do another one. We'll just use the pliers to push them down there. And we're down all the way on our good. That slides nice and freely there. I'm just gonna go like that. I'll wipe the excess off here. Like that. There go. That'll be just fine like that. Now 
wipe the uh, little excess off here. Get a little paper towel here. Reason being is you don't want that floppy drive to get any stuff on it when it goes down on your diskette. So yeah, I'm gonna wipe that off there. There we go. Much better. Yeah, we'll wipe that off. off. That off. Excess off. There we go. Now yeah, that's acceptable. There we go. The head's clean. Just gonna put just a little bit of oil. On that motor shaft here, just a drop here, and we'll take one on a Q-tip here, and we will put just a little bit right here on that shaft there, just a little bit. Okay, all right. Okay, good. All right, so that's done. So now. Just got to clean this part up and then we'll be ready to put it back together. And the bottom looks fine. There's nothing wrong with that. So just this top here, we're just going to kind of do a little uh, cleaning here. Just a little bit here. Not much. I will give, I will lubricate this mechanism here. I'm just kind of getting the lithium off of it here. There's hardly any on there anyway, but we're good. String on it there. Something like that stuff there you want to get off of there. All right, so now we're going to put a little oil on the Q-tip again here. What we're going to do is we will put a little bit uh, here, that track there, a little bit right there, a little bit right there. Uh, let's see, we'll put a little bit there, a little bit there, and we're going to cycle this a little bit here. We will wipe off the excess here just a second here. Blot this off with some paper towel here. All right, so we looking looking good. We got all the, a lot of the excess off of there. But what we will do first is we got to stick this back in first. And we should probably plug this in first while we get it out. Let's see here. There we go, it's all plugged in there. Okay. Okay, and I think we're, make sure we get that wire out of the way there. Let's see. There we go, that's better. All right, so now we'll put the screws in here. Don't tighten them all the way up yet until you get both of them in there, then you can crank it down. So we're good. All right. So now we can put the uh, top plate back on here. And these little things are like little uh, rollers here. 
and we'll put the we'll put some oil on these too before we forget here. And it's kind of it's kind of tricky getting this thing lined up here. It's kind of tricky getting this thing lined up here. And we're gonna just put a little oil on these here, these little rollers here. There, okay. And then I want to make sure that there's nothing on the bottom here that's going to cause problems here. That looks pretty good. All right, so let's drop this back down on here. All right, let's see here. I'll get right, reach around the camera here. So this literally just kind of goes in here like so. Let's see, you gotta get lined up just right here. Let's see, like that. Almost got it here. There we go. It's down there, right there. And then before I forget, we're gonna put this little guy on here. that head up there. Oh, hang on. There we go. That's what lifts the head up there. All right, so that's back in place. So now <clears throat> we just have to reattach the springs. So let's see here. And we didn't lose anything, so that's good. So now what we're going to do, the fun part, is getting that spring on there. All right, so I'm gonna get that around there. Almost, almost had it. There we go, got that wrapped around there. Yeah, I think we're good. Now let's do the other side here. Same thing. Gonna wrap that around there just like so. And spring hooks are very helpful. Of course, you gotta get it on that little stud there. There we go, got it. All right, let's see how it works here. Let's see. So, Let's see, so we gotta slide this thing like so and then flip it. Oh yeah, that's pretty it wasn't like I said it wasn't really binding before. Let's see. Yeah, it just drops right down as it should. up the head like it's supposed to. Okay, good. All right, so what we're going to do, we're going to put this back in the uh, Mac Plus, and then we will see how this works. Okay, so we got it all back together, and we're going to see if the uh, repair worked. So we're going to turn this on here, and we're going to get a disc. We'll give that a minute there to to do its thing there. And we'll wait until it all gets booted up here. And uh, yeah, I hope our repair is fruitful here. It should make it a lot quieter. That's why it's so noisy. All those teeth are kind of grinding in there. So there we go. We got a little Happy Mac on there. We didn't like that. Okay, that's all right. 
Let's try to get in there. So it's booting up there. Welcome to Macintosh. And it takes a little time for it to boot up there. This is going into 7.1. Got the little watch symbol there. We got our cursor there. That's good. All right. And so, yeah, so now we will see how this works. So let's put our diskette in here. It's reading it, so that's good. So that means we got it back together good. And let's try to eject it. Let's see what happens when we eject it here. Oh, listen how nice and smooth that is now. Man, that worked awesome. Very good. Let's do that again there. Put that in there again. All right. And let's eject the disc again. Wow, that's nice. That is an excellent repair. And this little guy here was causing all the grief there, that little gear there. And I'll leave a link where you can get this gear kit from K Koba. Now, part two, getting back to the Rominator. You saw the first part where we tried to do it and it didn't go so well. So I've gotten another kit. I've almost got it all assembled. K Koba gave me some instructions, what he thought could have been the problem. And I'll even show you the comments on YouTube, what he sent me. He said that the pins should have been facing the other way, but he said that might not have been our only problem. Uh, the little ROM chip could have got zapped electrically, uh, but I told him that I did find a little bridged pin on that, and I think that's what caused all the problem. When we get that Rominator put together, we'll install it, and we will try number two. And he gave me some more detailed instructions on that. And of course he said, you know, if you have any issue, private message me, I'll be happy to help you. And that was very nice of him. This gentleman's all the way in Japan. So anyway, yeah. So this has been a great, great success. So we have the floppy drive is all fixed now. Nice and quiet, it ejects no problem. And like I said, I just use sewing machine oil. That's what I use. And then on the back of it here, you can see our nice stickers. Let me rotate this around a little bit. I don't know if I can do that. There we go. Our nice stickers here. Courtesy of Steve for Mac 84. I'll zoom in on it here for a little bit there. There we go. So we have the blue SCSI. That's from Tom Barber. That's their little logo whenever you get a blue SCSI. And then Steve, he did that nice work for me. He actually assembled that for me. So when he sent it to me, he sent me a nice Mac 84 sticker. I think that's pretty darn cool. So anyway, yeah. So it looks pretty good. I'm very happy the way this turned out. Awesome. Very good. So now when we do the Rominator, hopefully that will work out just as nice as this did. And then we'll have pretty much about everything we can do to this guy. So anyway, I hope you like this video. Please give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Please like and subscribe and click that notification bell. I really appreciate it. We're also on MeWe and Twitter. And I'm also on Rumble platform and Odyssey platform and YouTube. YouTube's my main platform, but I'm on Rumble and I am on Odyssey. You can check all my videos are on those, but my main thing is YouTube. So anyway, guys, thank you very much. Have a great rest of your week and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.